It has been a seven-month roller coaster for banks and their customers following the coming into force of the interest rate cap as lenders, among others, continue tightening credit to SMEs and individuals in a kind of protest. Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Joroge, however, says it is still early to determine the effect of the interest caps on the economy apart from the slowing down in private sector credit. We have rough numbers, but I wouldn't want to quote the rough numbers now until we have redone our exercise uh, to sharpen the estimate on the impact on uh, the economy. There's obviously potential impact on uh, financial inclusion, uh, and again, that's something we are trying to figure out to drill down and give you data on that. Um, and also there's potential impact on uh, bank efficiency and more generally intermediation. The delay by banks in changing business models after the cap on interest rates has seen many of them record reduced earnings. Most banks have however submitted their revised business models for review by the regulator. By the end of April, as a matter of fact all, of, all banks did submit that and we're in the process of discussing it with them now, you know, to understand how they are reacting and uh, not just to the interest rate cuts, but reacting more generally to all the things that are happening in our economy. Importantly, to be more forward-looking and so as to be resilient, because shocks will come. To help Kenyans make informed decisions, the central bank, in conjunction with the Kenya Bankers Association, has launched a website dubbed costofcredit.ke to potential customers compare the cost of products by different banks. You generally get three things on the website, the one that I just now mentioned. When you populate it and all that, you get an APR. So you also have a cost of credit, which some people are more familiar with, and also you have a repayment schedule, right? As I say, we will also ask them to, uh, let's say, to, to price a benchmark basket. He says the standard gauge railway will reduce the cost of inland transportation by 49%. It will be approximately seven times cheaper to transport produce, this horticulture, by sea than by air.